what keeps you going i get asked this question a lot life is hard man and you are very conscious what keeps you going i can see that people genuinely want to know what keeps me going especially knowing what i know because this is hard I'd be lying if I said life was easy. It's it's hard. It's hard, man. It's hard. You know, nothing could have prepared us for life. It's hard, man. The journey of life is not easy. When we were little, we thought that life was going to make sense when we get older. But it became more complicated. We were promised a world that made sense when we were little. We had big dreams. We thought that things were going to work out. Things were going to be easy. You'll have the job of your dream. Have fun, travel the world. Marry the right person. Grow old together. And we thought life was simple. We thought life was simple. We didn't know that it is actually possible to actually find yourself alone. We didn't know that. Just being alone, you know, for a very long time. We didn't know that that was possible. We didn't know that it was possible to not find a good job. We didn't know that you can study very hard, do everything right, and still not find a good job. We didn't know that that was possible. We didn't know that we will be loved for what we have, what we will be able to offer. We didn't know that our worth was based on our Possessions. We didn't know that. We thought that people can just love us for who we are. We thought that we can just get the job that we want. We thought that we were going to get the answers that we seek. Life will make sense. It doesn't matter what I'm going through now. Um, okay, I might be getting bullied. Uh, I might be growing up in a poor family. It is what it is. I mean, things will make sense. I will grow up and get a good job and do my own thing. You know, it is what it is. I'm good. <laughs> but things never got to make sense. Things became more complicated. Nothing could have prepared us for this. Nothing. Even if we were told the truth when we were young, we still wouldn't have been ready for this. What's worse is that we weren't told the truth. So we expected the world to be better. But it became worse, much worse. Everyone can see that something isn't right, you know doesn't really matter if you are an NPC. You can see that not, science is not right, you know? So even young kids can see that uh, science, science is off. Something's, like everyone can see that something is off. 
It's just that some people, because of their level of consciousness, are more aware of what's really going on. See, they can see and they are deeply affected because they can see, right? Those who are blind because they cannot see, but they do sense that something isn't right, they're not deeply affected. So the ones that are conscious because they can see, they're deeply affected. That is why I get asked a lot, what keeps you going? People can see that, okay, this is a very conscious being. And he has seen a lot. He has seen a lot. What keeps him going? I mean, he's aware of what's going on in the world. And he makes video every day. He makes videos every day talking about what's going on. Talking about how he really feel, what he thinks. So what really keeps him going? I've been able to express myself as honestly as I can helps a lot. Being able to speak the truth without holding back, that helps a lot. I do this equally. I don't have to think about what I'm going to say next before saying it. Because this is really how I feel. There's no holding back. That helps me a lot. If I didn't do this, I believe that I'll be grumpy every time. I'll just be angry for no apparent reason. Because... I'll be thinking all these thoughts and not being able to channel these thoughts towards something positive. So being able to express myself as honestly as possible, that keeps me going. I think it is important that you are really yourself and just watch the world respond the way that it responds. You are who you are. You know, you are who you are. There's nothing to protect. You shouldn't be afraid of being what you are because that's what life has created. So I'm free enough to express myself. Even if people are going to judge me, I know that this is the real me. There's nothing fake about me. I'm real and I'm speaking the truth. I know that most people are lying. I know that most people are afraid to speak their minds. I know that a lot of people are not even conscious enough to really know how they really feel. There are people like that, like that, so unconscious that they don't even know how they feel. They can't even process their emotions, right? I'm my own therapist. I know how to deal with my emotions. And being able to express myself, that's... That's good. That helps a lot. That's one of the ways that I actually deal with my emotions. I used to stress a lot before I started making videos. A lot. I would stress. Yeah, I mean, I still do stress, but it was much worse back then because... I understood what I understood about reality and I wasn't able to say anything because there wasn't anyone that I can talk to. I 
There wasn't anyone that I can talk to. You know, people tend to think that when you think the way that I think, you have issues. Even though this is actually the right way to think. No, being able to question your existence, that's really important. That's a sign of intelligence. Every human being should be questioning what is going on in the world. Every human being. If you are not doing that, and something is, I mean, I won't say that sounds wrong with you, but it doesn't make sense that you're not doing that if you are in a world that you don't understand then you must be trying to understand it if you don't understand life you must be trying to understand it and you can never understand life unless you try to ask yourself the deepest questions about it if you are in a society that doesn't make sense, you must be asking questions. You can't pretend as if this makes sense because it doesn't make sense. I know that each and every person has had a moment where they were like, what is this? What is this? I remember there's this video that I came across on Instagram. There's a video of... Um, gorilla in a zoo very big gorilla and was doing what gorillas do <coughs> you know stuff like that it was doing that and someone was recording it do that and then it stopped it stopped and it just it looked it looked concerned it looked like it just became self-aware for the first time. Like, what am I doing? And then it sat down. You can, you could, you'll be able to see in its face that, nah, it's not happy. You know? In the beginning, it was doing what mangas do, like the stupid shit that mangas do. But then it stopped. Like, nah, man, what am I doing? And it sat down. You see that now? It's sad. I do believe that each and every human has had that moment where they like really, you know, started asking themselves questions and started feeling sad. What is this, man? What is this? I'm conscious. Um, I don't really know what the meaning of this is. How it all started. What I'm doing here. Like, it doesn't make sense. You start to feel this deep sadness. Because it doesn't make sense. We can lie to ourselves, but it doesn't make sense. It, it seems pointless and meaningless. Usually, when we believe that life is meaningful, there is something that we are not aware of. Usually. Let's say we feel like our lives are meaningful because we are married. There is something that you don't know about the person that you are married to. Usually, I'm not saying you can't find the right person. But I'm turning 31 in a couple of weeks. I've dated a lot. Uh, I've seen a lot of people date. I know a lot of people who are married. I've seen a people. I know a lot of people who were married. You know what they would say? Like, Joe, I found. I found. I found the love of my life. I found my soulmate. I mean, this girl, bro, this girl, she's different, bro. 
She doesn't even ask for money. She doesn't even, like, she's, she's humble. She cares about me. She's faithful. She doesn't argue with me over stupid shit, you know? Like, there's peace, bro. Find that wherever the guy goes, he's talking about his girl. Huh? Because there's something that he doesn't know. Then he discovers something that he didn't know. And realize that hmm, life is not what we really want it to be. Ever met someone in your life and you wanted them to be more than what they were? It's like, oh, I found someone great, but in the end, they show you that they're not. And you're like, what? Like, life is full of disappointments. So, when we have these meaningful experiences, it's there's usually something that we do not know. And if we knew, if we knew this thing that we didn't know, we would actually not think that we are having a meaningful experience. Like the truth seemed to be wicked. Like all the time, like once you discover the truth about something, it just realizes that it was, it's wicked. Someone comes into your life because you have money. And you convince yourself that, nah, nah, they love me. Ah, this one, nah, they love me. And then you discover the truth that, nah, they were just in your life because they wanted money. Like, what? Someone is in your life just because the person that they were in a relationship with them broke up with them and they're in pain and they want someone to talk to. And you date, but they don't really love you. They, they even they talk a lot about the person that broke their heart, and then in the end, they will end up going back to that person. But then, when they're in your life, you you convince that no, this person is real, and wow, the relationship is going to be great, and this is going to be a meaningful experience. But you realize that in the end, it's it's meaningless. In the end, it's not what you thought it was. It, like the truth is always disappointing, like Thanos said. <laughs> Like the truth is usually disappointing. It's not, it's not what you really think it is. You know, what keeps people going sometimes is their own ignorance. Like you, things ain't the way that you really think they are. But you are not conscious enough to see the truth. So you are able to keep on going because you are ignorant. I know people like that. A man is in his 50s, he's married to a woman that's in their 30s. You see how they talk to each other, that nah, something is off. You see that there's no, there's no love. Like the man is naive, he doesn't really see that mm, something is, like... Sometimes I, I wonder when, like when men end up losing their jobs and then their woman leave and they they complain like you lose your job your woman leaves you complain I'm like you didn't see the whole time that there was no love like you didn't do you know how women behave when they love you how they behave around you how happy they are around you how they talk about you how they smile when they look at you when a woman is in love, you know she's in love. Some people are in your life just because there's something that they want. Some people are in, still in your life just because they are so used to you. Like, but it's not like they really, you know what I mean? It's not like they really, really love you like that. How many people do you think 
love each other who are married. I really love each other like that. Why do you think that when people get divorced, they have to involve lawyers? You think they will involve lawyers if there was love? They'd be fighting, bruh, fighting, fighting for property, fighting. Like, it's something is off. You know, real, this reality is not what we thought it was, what we hope it is. It's, it's something worse. You know, people are trying to survive. That is the truth. What you call love is in what you think it is. That is why it's not easy to love people who are not doing well in life. That's because what you call love is not what it is, what you think it is. You see? I don't have feelings for this girl. You don't have feelings for her because, well, maybe she's just not attractive. You don't have feelings for these guys because maybe he just doesn't have money. He can't, like, protect you so you don't have feelings for him. Uh, he can't really help you. It's... We're trying to survive. That is the truth. Every, each and every person is selfish and they're trying to survive. That is the truth about life. So, realizing that, like, knowing that all the things that you used to believe about life are not true. Because you've, like, the people who came before you have been trying to protect you from certain truth. Maybe because they're ignorant or maybe because they thought you were young and they didn't want to, like, really tell you how things really are in the world. You grow up believing that, nah, man, things are good. Uh, love is what they tell me it is love is what they show me in movies life gets to make sense you know you watch a movie where someone suffers and then uh in the end things make sense that's not life in life people suffer until they die that's what happened in real life but we're always hopeful We've been lied to a lot that many of us are confused. So it's hard to keep fighting. It's not easy, man. It's not easy. Oh, there are a lot of people in this world who don't even feel like they want to keep on going. It's just that we are resilient. You know, we are resilient as people and we don't even know what we're doing. So we just, we just, we just do what we're expected to do. We're expected to fight, so we keep on fighting, but not really because we find this very interesting you know, I'll be lying to you if I say that I have something to really like look forward to and be like, yeah. I feel like I've seen it all. Yeah? I'm 31 years. I'm turning 31 and I feel like I'm, I've seen it all. But I keep on fighting because what can I do? I'm, 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 I'm also trying to like learn, you know? trying to learn as much as I can learn about this reality. It doesn't make sense. But can I figure out why it doesn't make sense? Can I figure out how to not find myself back here again or in a reality similar to this? Because we don't, we don't know how we even we got here in the first place. So how can we be so sure that nothing is going to happen that's going to like put us in this kind of situation again I mean if it happened the first time it can happen again so there's that fear what if this happens again what if I find myself conscious in a realm like this again that's scary I don't want that to happen I'm calm now because I'm like okay 
I'm 31, I'm getting older, so I can write it out, you know. Like, I've lived, man, like, I've done my time, you know, a bit, so I can write it out, plus I'm much stronger now, and uh, I'm not a coward anymore, I'm, I'm, I'm more free, you know, I'm more free to be who I am, a lot of things that used to bother me don't bother me anymore, I've accepted that this is how the world is, so I can, I can write it out, I can write it out, but imagine if, I'm, I'll come back here or be in a reality similar to this like that 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 would suck that would like really suck like I would go crazy if I was going to be in a reality like this again and I knew that like I would go crazy I'm only I'm calm now because I'm like hey it will be over man I can write it out you know I can write it out every year I'm getting closer to the end you know, so it is what it is. Let's let's keep on fighting. It's not easy. To be honest, it's not easy. You're trying to cope every day, and this reality is is a joke, right? It's it's a joke. It's it's upside down. It doesn't make sense. Like I feel like I make more sense than reality. I feel felt like that. Like the way that you think actually makes sense. This reality is so upside down. See, when you do good, bad things happen. You do bad things, good things happen. Everything is just mixed up. Like, it doesn't make sense. So, yeah, we just keep on fighting because what can we do? We're still trying to learn, you know, trying to understand what this is all about. Once you become truly conscious, that's what you do, you know. it's Because imp- here's the thing. Some people are unconscious, man, and... They really do behave like NPCs. You talk to them, you realize that they're just unconscious. You know. I'll tell you that, ah, man, it all boils down to perspective. If you look at things this way, you'll be fine. If you look at things this way, you're like, dude, you're just unconscious. You know? Once you become conscious, you, you, you start to see that, you know, the way that we're living life is actually meaningless. Like... Maybe if we're all conscious, we'll try to create a meaningful experience. But what we have created isn't meaningful. It's it's hell-like. It's 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 meaningless and it's torture. Like people who are conscious suffer a lot because this is torture. Like it's like if you were supposed to live with monkeys and they lived like monkeys and you're a human, you are more conscious than them, so you wouldn't be able to cope. It's kind of like that. So my own curiosity keeps me going. It's not hope. Like, I don't, like, look at the future and be like, oh, good things are still going to happen. I'm like, I don't even care, bro. Ever felt like that? Like, you don't, you don't really care what happens. Like, I, I don't care what happens. <laughs> to be honest with y'all, like, I, I don't care. I, I don't care if... I never become very successful or whatever. Like, the, back then I would care. I'd be like, okay, I would, you know, imagine if I just suffer until I die. But now I just don't care. Like, whatever, man. What I care about is my own freedom in the end. Can this, can, can, can it all be over? Oh, we, we're going to be stuck Forever. We're going to have to experience reality forever. As this was possible, that's, that's what you must think about. Like, this was possible. Like, you being a human and being self-aware, that was possible. So say, nah, when I die, it will all be over. That's a fact. Like, no, man, you must be... You must be open-minded. Don't just pick one, like one belief system. Like, yeah, this is it. This is what I'm going with. Uh, we're a product of evolution and 
when we die that's it uh consciousness is generated by the brain and keep an open mind because whatever is going on here is weird or whatever is going on here is weird and it's everything is confusing so keep an open mind anything is possible so try to learn as much as you can learn be as open minded as possible no matter what you want this to be keep an open mind some people will tell you what they want this to be and they be looking for evidence to support what they believe what, what they want this to be right so be looking for evidence they're not looking for anything else like hey it might be something else like no they are looking for evidence to support their belief i say keep an open mind be curious enough to be skeptical don't really assume that you know so yeah man um i'm curious i want to know what this all that this is all about and if there are ways to like free myself because i don't i don't i don't ever want to find myself in this kind of reality again it it really did suck it really really did suck i've made peace with the things that happened in the past but i i know that it is like i i know that things that have happened just really do suck like they really did suck and there's no meaning there's nothing that i gained from this weird experiences that i've had it's just there's just it's a sad story really it's a sad story that's why i don't expect things to make sense because i mean if you are at 80 you can't really expect things to end up making sense like things will never ever make sense because they were never supposed to make sense this is reality this is what you dealing with this is your dream you know and your dream never really changes like if you are having a nightmare it can never turn into a beautiful dream like that doesn't happen if you are having a nightmare you are having a nightmare if you are having a beautiful dream you are having a beautiful dream have you realized that like if you are having a nightmare you are having a nightmare It's not going to change into a beautiful dream. It doesn't happen like that. So I think this is it. This is reality. It's it's always been like this. This is how I know it to be. You know, yes, um we can keep on uh improving our technology and all that, but the it's still disappointing. It's still like the amount of disappointment that you have to deal with, it's, it's still the same. You know, the amount of disappointments that you have to deal with is still the same it's like I will still be lonely right it will still be empty you have to deal with em- the emptiness like no matter what we do technologically like even if we can create technology that helps us teleport it will still be empty it you still feel lonely you still feel alone like if if our lives are supposed to improve they would have improved with technology facebook instagram youtube but they, that didn't that's not what happened it even seemed like the quality of life decreased drastically like there, there was something that we didn't know about ourselves that got exposed and we realized that no things in what we thought they were like now we know 
how men think. Now we know how women think. Now we know how our bosses think, how our pastors think. How uh, atheists think, how Christians think, how Muslims think. Like now we know. And the truth is always disappointing. Because we got to know a lot about ourselves that we didn't know in the past. Now every person has an opinion. Now every person can give you their side of the story. There isn't any, there isn't this like one source that we all have to rely on for truth. Like there's many different sources. So each and every person can do their own investigation when they're trying to figure out what's, what's really going on and the truth is always disappointing. Everyone has an opinion now. You go online, you go on Instagram, you go on TikTok. Everyone has an opinion. So you get to know how other people think. There's no mystery anymore. You used to tell your stories, I mean yourself stories about uh, other people, about how they think, about uh, how good they are. But now you know people ain't good. Now you know that people are selfish. So the quality of life decreased because now we know the truth about ourselves. The truth that was hidden. Because we weren't really free enough to speak our minds. Now people are becoming free to really speak their minds. Now people know Benedictine, the truth. Like if there was no internet, I don't think the people... Uh, who know me would really know how I really think like because this kind of conversations wouldn't even come up you know and even if they did I wouldn't just have this kind of conversations all the time so but now if a person wants to really know what I really think person that knows me they can just go on YouTube uh I put a link to my videos on Facebook so they can just watch and be like, oh, this is how it thinks. There's no mystery. So it seems like we are all coming to terms with the truth and we don't really love the truth. Because it's wicked, right? It's not what we were told it is. Something is not right. And being able to see that something is not right doesn't make us feel great, doesn't make us very enthusiastic, doesn't make us want to go on, doesn't make us optimistic, it makes us sad. Like, truth makes people sad. That is why the more conscious you become, the sadder you become. That's what happens. And they say oh, intelligence, I mean, mental illness is a common among intelligent people. What's really true is that mental, uh, what they call mental illness is a common among people who are conscious. It's just that being conscious is, con is confused with intelligence, but it isn't really that, but you can, you can call it intelligence. It's awareness, bro. Like you are really aware. You are able to see things from different perspectives, from different angles. You're not delusional. You don't just look at things and tell yourself stories that don't make sense. Like you see things as they really are. You see people's true intentions. <laughs> it makes me laugh when other people cannot see other people's true intentions. Uh, when a guy that I am close to dates a girl, I can see her intentions right away. I don't tell him anything. I can tell if it's not going to work. I can tell if she doesn't love him. Even when I'm dating someone, I can tell that uh, she's, not, she's not really down with me. Like, I, it's easy to see the truth. You know, it's easy to see people's intentions. It's so easy, but some people seem to be able to see the truth about other people. They're not able to read other people. 
that is why there have been people where I live who have been lied to by pastors. I remember yesterday I came across a video of this other guy who was a millionaire. He lost his millions because he went to this other church. The prophet. <laughs> manipulated him and he gave him his money he ended up being broke now he's complaining like how did you not see that like if a person is manipulating you you don't even see that how how, how is that even possible i understand that you believe in god i mean that's another so there's another sign that you're not conscious but i understand that you believe in god but you can't allow people to use you just because they are using the name of God, like God is uh, saying that you must do this. God is saying you must donate this amount of money, blah, blah. And once they're done with you, they're done, bro. They don't give a damn. They took all your money, they're done. They don't give a damn about you. You text them, they don't respond. You call them, they don't pick up your calls. They don't care anymore because they got you, man. That's how selfish people are. So you must... Be conscious enough to see if the people who are in your life are in your life for the right reasons. Because people are trying to survive. You can't even blame them, you see? So you keep your eyes open the whole time. There are genuine people in the world, but some people are not genuine. And you must be able to see that, okay, this person is not genuine. So here's how I deal with people who are not genuine, you know, so that I don't find myself suffering more than I'm suffering now. So if you allow the wrong people into your life, you can find yourself suffering way worse than you're suffering. Because they don't have good intentions. So being conscious has its advantages and disadvantages. If you are conscious and you see the truth, you're not going to be like happy and excited and, th and th enthusiastic. But you'll also be able to protect yourself. And those who are unconscious will be very enthusiastic and excited about the future. Very optimistic, but they won't really be able to protect themselves. That's the thing. What keeps a lot of people going is the lies that they tell themselves. If you are real, it's not going to it's not going to be easy for you to keep on going because you can no longer lean on the lies that other people are leaning on. You just have to face the truth. And the truth isn't beautiful. The truth doesn't make people feel great about his experience. The truth doesn't make people feel like they wanna go on. The truth makes people feel like, damn, how did I get here? What do I do, man? This is not making any sense. That's why I keep on telling y'all that the truth is wicked. It's always wicked in a realm like this. If you wanna know how wicked this world is just look at how animals live. As humans, we lie to ourselves a lot. We are protected a lot from certain realities. So we end up believing that this is good because we've been protected from certain realities. But when you look at how the animals live, that's how brutal life is. See, that's how brutal life is. It doesn't care about sentient life. The universe doesn't care about sentient life. It doesn't care if you suffer. You can suffer your whole life. It doesn't care. Your whole life you can suffer. You can get locked up for a crime you didn't commit. Even if you've never committed any crime. Just happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. You get arrested. Spend the rest of your life in prison. Dealing with hell. And you never get out. 
that's life. There are so many stories of people getting locked up for a crime that they didn't, they didn't commit. Imagine all the stories that we didn't get to hear. As if there are stories of people who have been locked up for a crime they didn't commit and in the end uh, they were released because they ended up realizing the truth. How many people got locked up and their stories went ahead? No one was willing to like really investigate and figure out what really happened. And they die in prison. That's life. A person that wasn't supposed to be in prison. A person who is not willing to do anything bad. They're locked up with real criminals. Real offenders. People who are not afraid to kill. People who want to rape. <laughs> It's a brutal experience, man. It is a brutal experience. No matter how much we lie to ourselves, it is still a brutal experience. Messed up things keep on happening. Just because you are lucky doesn't mean that messed up things don't happen. But sometimes when bad things happen, we tell ourselves that the people that these bad things have happened to have done something wrong. Maybe they don't pray. Maybe they're just bad people. It's karma. But they're not even people. <laughs> they don't exist. That wouldn't happen to people who exist and who are conscious. The truth is, this is just bad. This is just awful. It's funny that we used to think that things were going to make sense. Like growing up, when you were in your twenties, you still felt like things were going to work out. Some people even felt like that in their thirties. Some even in their forties. But nothing, nothing changed in the end. They still found themselves suffering and life continued to not make sense. And people really worked hard and did everything right and things still didn't make sense. There are way too many people competing, man, for resources. That's why it never really gets to make sense. You know how many people are fighting for resources now? Eight billion people fighting for the same things and we're selfish it's not like we're trying to help one another I'm trying to get as much as I can for myself I don't really care if my neighbor has nothing it's about me I need to get as much as I can for myself it's, it's not about other people
I remember our former president he spent how much did he spend? I forgot how much he spent in his home, like to build his home, like but a lot of money, like a lot, a lot. And uh, it was money that he made through corruption. His neighbor was living in a I think in the shack. He didn't give it them. While he was still president. I mean he could have helped his neighbor. While he was still president, but he didn't help his neighbor. That's how selfish we are. Hey, you build the biggest house ever. Your neighbor is living in a shack and you don't give it them. Like you don't care. That's how we are as people. Like if each and every person is just working for themselves. That's why it's like hard to like really respect people. Because you know we, we, we all suck. When you know that we all selfish. Like there ain't that many people that will surprise you. There ain't that many people who are selfless and who will do things for other people without expecting anything in return. Who do things for people who they who don't even deserve these things by the standards of this world. You have money and you identify someone who has nothing and you know they've suffered and you're like, you know what? I want to change your life. Let me build you a house. Let me find you a decent job or something. Like, let me help you. Like, it's not like that. People are always expecting something in return. And the reason why it's like that is because people are not happy. You see, when you are happy, you, you, you are happy to do things for other people. You know that? Ever felt... Happy, bro. Like truly happy. When you are feeling truly happy, you want to do things for other people. You are happy, bro. Someone asks for your help. You're like, dude, oh, let me help you. Like you are happy to help them. But if you are unhappy, you don't, <laughs> you don't even want to do anything for anyone. You don't have the energy. You're dealing with your own shit. You got millions, but you got your own problems. Someone says, oh, can you lend me like 10, 10,000? Be like, nope. You even get angry. Like, eh, these people, man. You don't want to help. Because you're dealing with your own problems. You, you're not happy. Because it doesn't really matter what you have in the end. It still sucks. If you get what you want, you'll be happy for a while, but you get used to it and... You start feeling unhappy again. Because we're never meant to be satisfied. So it will still suck in the end. So yeah. Um, to answer the question. What keeps me going is. Um, my own curiosity. I want to understand what's going on. Being able to talk to y'all guys, that helps me a lot. Taking these long walks, that helps. No, that helps. You don't want to spend the whole day in one place. Like, that, that sucks. So, being able to take long walks, you know get my mind of things that helps um, being able to accept the truth about myself that that also helps a lot because some people can't even accept the truth about themselves And I keep on telling people that if you want to grow, you must be able to accept certain truth about yourself, especially uncomfortable truth. You know, it, it, it's not easy, but you must be able to accept uncomfortable truth about yourself because you, you get used to it. Like, okay, this is the truth. This is how things are. So that helps a lot.
and just getting older, knowing that I'm not becoming a child, I'm actually becoming older, meaning that one day all of this will be over. A lot of people uncomfortable with like getting old because they wanna I don't know if they wanna live forever, but although it's it's not what I prefer like I don't prefer getting too old and not be able to do certain things and you know what I mean like I don't prefer that. But I know that the longer you live, the closer you get to your death. You can die at age 40, you can die at age 50, you can die at age 60. life it's unpredictable it's a crazy ride man also accepting that well, it will never make sense. That helps because you're not very hopeful. You don't have like these expectations that won't be met. I go, things are gonna like really work out. I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have that. You don't have expectations. You're like, it is what it is. That actually helps you live in the moment. Just good, like learn to live in the moment than to let your mind wander. What's gonna happen in the future? I just got diagnosed with this illness. It will probably get worse in the future in a year, blah, blah. You just try to live in the moment and let whatever happens happen because you're not really in control anyway. You just find yourself in this weird reality. It sucks that we're not even in control. It doesn't really matter what you do. It doesn't matter if you do the right things or the wrong things. It's, it doesn't matter. It's like someone, it's like everything is scripted, right? Someone has decided to like control everything and they're controlling everything. They want to create a, a story that they will love, not a story that you going to love, a story that they themselves are going to love. It's like it, if you watch the Truman Show, it's like what happens in the true main show. It's not about you. Like life itself is not your story. If it was your story, you would have power, right? But you don't, you don't really have power seems like there are forces that are um, more powerful than you and that are controlling the things that happen. I think that's why people are religious because they, you know, they feel like there, there are forces that are above us that are controlling what happens. So they, they want to beg these forces to help them. So they pray, help me. Some people might actually be making a deal, deal, deals with these forces.
Some people might be making deals with these forces, man. It's a crazy world that we live in. Thank you all, guys.